All right, Joey Chris displays the white flag. We'll be ready to go racing next time around. Again, thank you so very, very much for being a part of tonight's Fusillo Autoplex of Nelliston. Firecracker 50 here at the track of champions. Ready to start qualifying the night. Outstanding field of modifieds on hand for tonight's 50 lap feature, which pays $10,000 to win. Thank you for being here. If you're at home on Flow, thank you for tuning in. Fasten your seatbelt. It is time to go racing at the track of champions. Here they come. Johnson making a bid here. He'll climb to the second spot. Warner drives underneath Akers. He'll grab third, but lap number one will go to the greater. Here comes the squirrel. Rocky Warner's in third, and Money Matt is in fourth spot. And now we got Jessica Friesen in fifth. But don't count out Alex Jankowski yet from 11th. Jankowski to sixth, trying to put it in the show through the heat race. Two in the books this time by Hanson, but here comes Alex. How about Alex Jankowski? He started last and he's one spot away from qualifying as he chases after Jessica Friesen down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, Rocky Warner moving in on Alan Johnson. Yeah, Johnson made a mistake down in one and two. Warner closes right up to his back bumper. Five will qualify three to the redraw. Warner sitting in a redraw spot right now, but Matt Williamson and Jessica Friesen are closing in with Jankowski pedaling down the back straightaway. Up front, Craig Hansen continues to lead the way as they work out of the turn. Whoa! Friesen inside of Williamson. Here comes Jankowski side by side. Money not is in danger of not having a qualifying spot. Williamson tried the top and he lost it. Jankowski shoves a nose. But Jankowski loses it off a of two. Here comes Williamson coming back at him. Wow, Williamson dives to the inside. He'll make his move past Jankowski and retake the number five spot. We're only halfway through this one. All of that racing back there gave room for the top three as Johnson starts to move back in on Craig Hansen, and Rocky Warner isn't too far behind. Kurt Hundelin pulls off the speedway, but the battle up front, Hansen able to pull away every time Johnson gets close. Here comes Rocky Warner putting the pressure on Allen Johnson. Johnson will close the door, heading into the turn. Johnson two, then we got Warner three, then Friesen, Williamson, and Alex Jankowski pedaling quickly to get back in and challenge Williamson for fifth. Top six have put a pretty good distance between themselves and the rest of the field as we're going to come to three laps to go. Hanson is again pulled away from Alan Johnson. Johnson got company from Rocky Warner, and Williamson is now settled back in on the bottom. He's pulling away from Yankowski. Yeah, Williamson had that one uh, little problem down there in turn four, costing two spots, but he gained one back. We'll take the two lap sign from Joe Chris. Two to go for Craig Hanson. Hansen continuing to lead. Johnson starting to struggle down there at three and four. Rocky Warner making up some ground. Warner again gets to Johnson's back bumper, but Johnson gets tight. Williamson does the same on Jessica Friesen's back bumper, and Yankowski trying to reel him back in. Rocky Warner now going to the outside on Alan Johnson as they work out of turn number four. The door is closed again. Alan Johnson trying to make the car as wide as possible. Rocky's way up on the outside, following Johnson down the back straightaway. Checker flag will be waiting this time. Rocky tried to get a reared up on the top side. Johnson held his nose on the bottom off of turn number four. Craig Hansen will win heat number one. Second off of the corner will be Allen Johnson. Third, Rocky Warner, Jessica Friesen, and Matt Williamson, the top five. Wow. Some intense action back there for those last redraw spots and qualifying spots and taking home the victory in heat number one, the 20C, the hometown boy, Craig Hansen. Runner up the 14J, Allen Johnson. Third, the 1J of Rocky Warner. Fourth, the 1Z, Jessica Friesen. And fifth to the number three of Matt Williamson. He too will line up this way. Pole position to McAuliffe, trucking 234, Adam McAuliffe. And alongside, driving in the 22F is Ray Zemkin. Second row to the inside. Driving the number 34 will be Dave Constantino. That's the DKM chassis number 34. Outside, driving the 1-800-GOT-JUNK number 20, the thrilling David Schilling. Third row on the inside. Driving in the number 97, 
That is the Borden Construction Sharp Motors entry of Bobby Hackle, the fourth. And alongside driving in the freeze, the Hallmark International, number 44, seven time winner here this season, Stuart Freeze in. Row four on the inside, driving the 44 will be Shane Jablanca. Shane Jablanca, the 44 X today. Outside of him, driving in the Brian Smith Superior modeling 44 is Anthony Perego. Yes, we've got three 44s in the same heat. Row five on the inside, driving the number 28. That's the quality forest management entry of Mike Troutschold alongside one of your top five in points here at the Speedway, the 6H, Josh Hohenforst. Josh Hohenforst in the 6H. Josh Hohenforst in the 6H. That's the Apollo rocket out of Johnstown, New York. If you went through Johnstown recently, they have one of their big cranes set up with a giant American flag hanging off the cranes up there on Route 30A in Johnstown, New York. Good to have you with us. Adam McAuliffe, Ray Zemkin starting on the front row. Ray Zemkin stepping up, going into modifieds out of the sportsman division, and we've got a green, and Zemkin trying to get to the front, going to turn number one. Pretty smooth, McAuliffe grabs the lead, watching freezing right now. He's out there in that number six position as they charge off turn number two, watching to go to the high side. He saw that uh, Rocky Warner was working out there. You can bet Stewie's going to go there. Here's Schelling now. He's also on the outside. Schelling's on the outside of Zemkin down the front straightaway. Schelling will take over the number two spot. Hackle now battling into the turn with Constantino. Here comes Friesen. Friesen on the rim, and he's moving to the outside. Down in between the turns. McCall is still stepping away. He's got the front of it down off turn number four. A quick chase right there in that number two position as they charge the turn. And Schelling Zemkin somehow holding on. And here comes Stewart. Reason on the outside. Reason on the outside of Hackle, almost on the driveway back there. Now comes the 44 of Perego. He goes by the 22 of Zemkin up front, leading the way from Paul, then Schilling, then Hackle, Reason, and then the six of Hohenfors. On the back stretch, still riding on the front of this thing is McCollum. Schilling doesn't have anything for him. Stewie dives to the inside now. He's looking down on the bottom. He's going to make a change, come off the rim, down on the inside edge. He's going to slide out of it. Can't get by. Friesen is really putting the pressure on Bobby Hackle. Hackle drifts high. Friesen dives to the inside. He'll take over third. Josh Hohenforst, who started last, now challenging Hackle for the number four spot. The Apollo Rockets on the move out there. Hey, Josh is a pretty good runner. Looking inside, looking for a Stewie move as they go to turn one. No change on the front of it. McAuliffe is still there. And Schilling is still second. Now Friesen is third. He's turning up the wick. Down the back straight over now. Hohenforce was about to put a move on Hackle, but now he's got the 44 of Anthony Perego knocking at his back door. Meanwhile, we also have a battle brewing for the lead. Look out, it's getting tight at the front of this thing. Friesen is shopping for a way to go by Schilling. He may have found it. It's going to be a drag race down the back stretch to turn three. So put Friesen into second, and he stole one from McAuliffe not too long ago. He's going to might get his lunch again as they come off turn four. Yeah, McAuliffe leading the way, and Friesen has now worked his way into the number two spot after starting in six. He gets wide out of the corner. Schilling drives right back on him. Meanwhile, Hohenforce battling with Perego. Schilling saying, which way did he go? And that right now, and Hohenforst, right now, pretty, or McAuliffe, pretty strong in the front of this. As they charge down into the turn, Adam McAuliffe with two laps to go, Friesen lining him up. He's got him in his sights, and now watch that outside, inside move and turn four. Friesen trying to set up McAuliffe. He moves right in. McAuliffe will close the door. Friesen chases him down the straightaway. Further back, we've got the Apollo rocket of Hohenforst still battling it out with the 44 of Perego. Final lap in heat number two. Friesen just bobbled in turn number two. He got down on the inside and got bumping around, and now it looks like McAuliffe is home free. Adam McAuliffe, go, Adam goes. He comes off turn four, and here comes Schilling back again. Friesen's gonna hold on for second. Schilling is gonna get there for that number three position. Fourth is, uh, is that Hackle in the number four? Bobby Hackle, the fourth, and then it's Josh Hohenforst. Strong early but faded a little late. Wow, good action in that one. Guys coming from deep in the pack. The 234 Adam McAuliffe will take home the win. 44, Stuart Fries in second. The 20 of David Schilling gets third. 97, Bobby Hackle fourth. And the 6'8", Josh Hohen fourth will get the fifth spot. Pole position in heat race number four. Driving in the 
Palmer Service Center 76, Jamaica Soul outside. The Dirt Track Digest TV, Algonquin Motel 6, HJR Hurlburt. Road 2 inside. The Conestoga Valley Custom Kitchens 2A, Mike Gouler on the long side. Driving the number 16, the performance signs entry of Aaron Jacobs. Third row inside the 22 will be Ansel Collins. And alongside of him, driving in the number two will be BVP of Billy Van Pelt. He is in the Instant Heats Wood Pellet number two. Row th four inside the 24 is George Foley. And outside of George in the number 91, the Smith Site Event entry of Billy Decker. Fifth and final row, the Garrity Asshole reclaiming number four, Andy Bichetti. And the T.O. Chassis number one of Tyler Dipple. So heat number three ready to go to the post. Again, ten more laps in distance. Five will qualify. Three to the redraw. Jamike Soul, a regular here. He's won a couple of heat races this season. J.R. Herbert alongside of him. Jamike Soul riding for the driving for the general. Carol Palmer is the general. She is in large and in charge, not large, but in charge as they get ready to go green. The heavy foot, J.R. Herbert drives deep into turn number one. He'll grab the lead away. Guler files in line in third. Billy Van Pelton, here comes Billy Decker into the final qualifying spot. Down between the turns out in the front of this thing as they come rolling off the corner is the 6-H of J.R. Herbert as they charge turn one into second, Jamike Soul. And third right now is the two of Mike Goular. Billy Decker, Decker was fast in hot laps tonight. He's already to fourth. Now trying to close in on a redraw spot. Guler, meanwhile, trying to close in on the 76 of Jamike Soul for the two spot. The Franklin Flyer sits in the fourth spot and he's starting to crank it up. He's getting the flaps up and he's diving down in turn one and he had gone by Goular and he went by him in a hurry. Billy Decker has brought the goods tonight, quick and hot laps, now up to third already from his eighth starting spot. Decker into a redraw spot, and we've got seven more to go this time by. JR still out in front, and low, he is cruising. Decker has already moved into second. Jamike Soul back, and then to go back to fourth right now is Goular. Billy Van Pelt is fifth, and Tyler Dipple is sixth. Yeah, Dipple has come from the 10th spot. Dipple started last. He's trying to put it into a qualifying spot. But how about Billy Decker? The Franklin Flyer turning back the clock from eighth now, challenging for the lead here, just four laps in. Billy Decker digging on the bottom, Hurlburt on the outside, and Decker has taken the measure of JR as they go working down off turn number four. Billy Decker, see ya time as he goes racing by up into turn number one. Decker unloading with a fast hot rod tonight, halfway through heat number three for the modified. Decker leads, Herbert, Soul, Guler, and Van Pelt. Van Pelt with all kinds of company still from Tyler Dipple. Everybody trying to get in the top five and qualify for the Firecracker 50 tonight. Last lap by Billy Decker, 18.024. 18.024, that is probably the hot lap of the night. No change in second. J.L. Herbal, Jamike Soul, steady Ed is right in as he rides in third. And Goulart still trying to get to him. Then we have dropped back quite a ways now to find Billy Van Pelt. Van Pelt and Dipple just made a little bit of contact down in one and two. Dipple starting to grow impatient, trying to get it into a qualifying spot. Meanwhile, Billy Decker has absolutely checked out. Hurlbert, Soul, and Guler are right together as Decker, Decker gets the two to go sign this time by. Decker getting really close to a 17 second lap. He was 18.024 the last time by. No one is catching him now. Now running up into second, Jamike Soul. Nice drive by Jamike. Good move as he goes by Hurlbert going down backstretch. Yeah, Herbert tried the top and one and two. It wasn't there. Soul took second away. White flag, one more lap around. Can Guler grab the third and final redraw spot? Herbert shuts the door into one. Billy Decker says, see you later, as he goes charging up into turn number three. Decker looking good tonight. It took him a long time to get a win here at the Fonda Speedway, but he's got it figured out tonight. Jamike Soul, what a job. Great drive by Jamike. Into third still is... Uh, Goular has now moved up to take third, and Hurlbert slipping back into fourth. Billy is next in line. That is Billy Van Pelt. So one more heat race for the Short Track Super Series Modifieds really quick. The 50-50 total up to $3,300 already. Wow. Your top five, the 91, Billy Decker winning 76. Mike Soul second, 2A, Mike Goular third. 
Six, H. Jarrah Herbert, fourth, and the two, Billy Van Pelt is fifth. Pole position, the Dave Prime Mac Tools, 55, Brett Haas outside. The Adirondack Auto, 35, Mike Mahaney. Second row inside. Driving in the 21P, the Heiko Fabrication entry is Pep Karate. Outside, the Norm Hansel Save Station, 357 of Max McLaughlin. Row three on the inside, driving in the number two, R.J. Ronnie Johnson. That is the Mickles Automotive entry outside of Ronnie. Driving in the number 85, the Bloomfields Flowers, 85 feature winner this year, Jack Lehner. Fourth row inside the 33R, the Royal Mountain entry is Rich Christman alongside of him. Driving car number 23, the Car Myers, Myers Enterprises entry, winner this year at Outlaw Speedway is Kyle Coffey. Final row inside the Herlock Auto and Speed 9S, Superman Matt Shepard, and alongside of him, the number 18 is Bobby Varin. Here they come. Joe says no, no start. Joe Chris, head starter here at Fonda Speedway, also on the Short Track Super Series, so he's doing double duty tonight, if you will. I guess technically not true, but Joe, do you know if you're going to get two paychecks? I don't know. <laughs> he's busy. Here they come. <laughs> we'll try it again. Here's Brett Haas and Mike Mahaney up front. Green is out. Three wide further back in the pack. We got a couple of heavy hitters that drew bad numbers. Down the back straight over now. We've got the 55. Brett Haas leading Mike Mahaney. Here comes Mad Max. Max McLaughlin's in third. A very good final heat race for the Modifieds. Up front leading the way. Brett Haas. Mike Mahaney second. The long hit back here for short. They're three wide down the front stretch. Shepard just passed three cars in one fell swoop. Going by Karate, by Laner, and by Ronnie Johnson. And that puts Matt Shepard into a qualifying spot. He is in fourth. You know, to most people, sail panels is an advantage. I don't know why the 9S doesn't have him with him tonight, but for whatever reason, it is working. Shepard is digging, trying to take third away from McLaughlin now. Yeah, he got a qualifying spot. He says, hey, let's go for a redraw spot. Meanwhile, Ronnie Johnson now battling it out with Pep Karate for that fifth and final qualifying spot. And a feature winner here this season, Jack Laner, way on the outside looking in. Meanwhile, up front, Mike Mahaney is taking the lead away from Brett Haas. Oh, Haas has problems. Brett Haas looks like he's got a flat tire left rear down on the 55, Brett Haas. Left rear tire looking at the flow racing broadcast up close shot. The left rear tire flat on the day prime Mac Tools 55. Brett Haas out of Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Last year's 358 modified champion at the Lebanon Valley Speedway. We've been flying through these heat races so far tonight. We have a great point battle when we get into the feature tonight. The Herlock Auto and Speed North Region modified points. The top two are separated by one point entering the program tonight. Anthony Perego, the point leader, with 262. Mike Mahaney second with 261. Matt Shepard third, 248. Fourth, Andy Bichetti, 226. And fifth, Stuart Friesen at 205. Sixth in points will be Mike Gould over 198. Seventh, Alan Johnson, 186. Eighth, David Schilling with 180. Ninth, Billy Decker, 170. Tenth, Bobby Hackle, 168. Eleventh, Tyler Dipple, 165. And twelfth, Matt Williamson with 157. The top 12 share in the point fund at the end of the season. The champion gets $12,000. And as Chris pointed out, the number one man in points, Anthony Perego, did not make the starting grid through the heat race. So he'll have to go run the consolation. His work will be cut out for him in the feature tonight. Meanwhile, Mike Mahaney is right up front. Courtesy lap given for the 55 of Brett Haas. Brett Haas back out on the speedway. He had three wins last year at the Valley on his way to his small block modified championship. Mike Mahaney Got his two wins here, a win at Malta this year. Max McLaughlin, a winner at Oswego on the asphalt, and also a winner at Volusia earlier this year, driving for Norm Hansel this season. Superman, well, let's see, he's got a lot of wins already this year. Three at Land of Legends, one at Outlaw, three at Orange County, a Georgetown win, a Pencan win, Lebanon Valley win, and two at Utica, Rome already. 
Matt is the point leader at Utica Rome. We're ready to go. We've got three laps completed. Back to green, motoring into the turn. Whoa, look at him go, Bobby Varon. Now they're three wide into the turn. Up the inside lane comes Kyle Coffey. Jack Laner takes advantage of the restart from outside of a qualifying spot. He's now to fourth. Ronnie Johnson running in fifth. Kyle Coffey and Bobby Varon battling for sixth, but up front, Mahaney leading with company coming. Here comes Superman. Yes, indeed. Matt Shepard is now into a redraw spot. He's second. McLaughlin still holding on to third. Laner's fourth, but we got a four-card battle for the last qualifying spot now. Ronnie Johnson, Bobby Barron, two legendary names here at the Speedway, followed by Coffey. Way this time by Shepard and the second win. But Mahaney up to the challenge so far. Mahaney. Oh, Jack Laner. Laner slow down and turns one and two. Laner's got a flat left rear. Another driver with a flat tire, and again, a weird situation. The left side tire, yellow, will come on. Yellow is out, Jack Laner in the Bloomfields Florist, number 85, with a left rear tire down. They must be pulling them off the bead. Left rear tire pulling them off the bead and causing the tires to go flat. This will regroup the field. Mike Mahaney will now have Matt Shepard alongside for the restart. Max McLaughlin, who almost got his first short track Super Series win in a South Region event at the New Egypt Speedway, losing the lead late in the event. He is very close, knocking on the door. Ronnie Johnson now up to fourth. Bobby Varon. Bobby Varon started 10th and last. He's now into a qualifying spot. Kyle Coffey next in line. Kyle has picked up some wins this year at the Outlaw Speedway. He's got a couple of wins. And the point leader there. He is followed by Pep Karate. Will rejoin the field here, gather them all up. So, Chris, what was that last 50 50 uh, jackpot total again? We got two tickets tonight to pull. Yeah, so we have two winning tickets tonight. The first one up to $3,300. That was at last count. I'm sure we're probably up closer to 3500 by now. And the second ticket is worth a minimum of $1,500 in total. So, again, we are closing in on the $5,000 cash going out to two fans tonight. That's a carryover from your last Saturday yes. program when it was not claimed, so they. Carry that over to tonight. All right, we're ready. Mahaney picking the bottom lane, leaving Superman on the top lane. Then McLaughlin, Johnson, here they come. Back to green, into the turn. Roddy Johnson tried the outside. He washes up to the wall. It will cost him a qualifying spot. Here comes the 55, Brett Haas. He restarted last. He's challenging for a qualifying spot. Yeah, Haas will drive underneath Pep Karate. He will grab the fifth and final qualifying spot. Ronnie Johnson and Jack are trying to work their way RJ Karate coming back at Haas. What a battle here for the final qualifier. Yeah, the Heiko Fabrications 21, Pep Karate giving the 55, Brett Haas, everything he can handle. Meanwhile, Mike Mahaney has got Matt Shepard covered. He's pulling away with a lead. Yeah, Mahaney flexing some muscle. He's been fast here this season. Had some bad luck to start the year, but he's gotten past it. And Mahaney pulling away here in heat number four. Varon, meanwhile, starting to come after McLaughlin for that third and final redraw spot. Heading into the turn now. Bobby Varon now putting the pressure on Max McLaughlin, looking for that third spot and a redraw position. The 55 of Haas now pulling away from Karate. He's got fifth. Yeah, Haas has gotten away from Karate now. Haas back into a qualifying spot. He's in the fifth and final one. White flag will wave one more time around the speedway. Mike Mahaney, large and in charge here of heat number four. Mike Mahaney in the Adirondack Auto. George Hunico, number 35, sets the pace down the back. Matt Shepard running in the number two spot. Will bring him around this time and grab a Sunoco checkered for the 35 of Mike Mahaney. 
Mahaney will win heat number four. Followed by Matt Shepard, then Max McLaughlin, Bobby Varon, and the 55H of Brett Haas. Again, Flow Racing TV putting up $50 for all of our modified heat winners. The 35 of Mike Mahaney wins, 9S Matt Shepard second, 357 Max McLaughlin third, 18 Bobby Varon fourth, and on the comeback, the 55 of Brett Haas will get fifth. Again, $50 from Flow Racing TV to all of our modified heat winners. Craig Hansen, Adam McAuliffe, Billy Decker, and the 35, Mike Mahaney. Chris has the lineup for heat number one for the sportsman. Heat number one, pole position in the Rapid Roy Shields Memorial, number 82S, Will Shields. And alongside of him in the NYSA, Dave Smith Construction, number 60 is Hunter Lapp. Third starting spot, a two-time winner here this season, the Upstate Motorsports, number four, Cody Clark. And alongside of him in the Belmont's Garage, is he rigging a trucking number nine, is Joe Toth. Fifth starting spot in the O'Connor Towing, number 25, Stephen Gray. And alongside of him, 